Thanks so much to Wendy, to Alex, and to Gina for creating this opportunity for us to, as a group, express ourselves. I, I tend to just get terrified um, and lose all sense of what I'm here for. So we're going to just, I think, talk a little bit about um, what Get Love is and, and, um, and then maybe how it's helped uh, change our own interiors. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just so that you get an idea of what Get Love is all about, what Get Love is doing, what 180 Center is doing with Get Love, um, the relationships that we're building between Golden Bridge Yoga, Get Love, and 180 Center, um, really just uh, you know serving the community and giving back on on such a huge scale. But I'm going to let Eileen start off with just what Get Love is all about. Okay, so Get Love is a is a, a nonprofit organization, and um, what it really is is it's an opportunity to share kindly with others. And so, just from the get go, I just want to kind of take being of service out of out of the language, because that, that's that's already got like an expectation. I'm coming at you with something you don't have, and it's really not about that. So, Get Love is really an opportunity for those of us that that participate with it to. Um, share in very kind ways with one another, and, and then healing happens, and, and we stay out of we stay out of results, and healing happens. Um, the form it takes at this point is um, we uh, it's had many kind of uh, uh, stages that it's gone through, but we serve out of a social service center where we provide meals, and that being just a way to the to the homeless community in, in Hollywood. That's just a way for us to become comfortable with those we serve because we all have, or uh, some of us have, um, uh, some of us get uncomfortable and it's just a, a way of being able to approach others. Um, but really I think that what we've been trying to do um, is acknowledge our homeless neighbors and in acknowledging our homeless neighbors we really start to also get to know who we are and um, there's all kinds of beautiful things that manifest from it. And along with acknowledging our neighbors, it, it, and in the kind of the acknowledgement of our homeless neighbors, all kinds of things have <laughs> resulted. Like, um, you know, we've been able to to uh, really establish all kinds of opportunities for those that we're wanting to love, um, and uh, including ways of coming together in our social service center that um, that stops the process of identifying ourselves separately from one another. Um, and um, uh, so there really is no provider, no service provider, uh, no social, uh, no uh, no social worker. We're just all people there getting busy doing what what's immediately in front of us. And so it, it might appear somewhat chaotic, but in fact it's really not. It, it creates the, the order is really kind of divine and kind and. Um, it's really what it is. It's very much like a family environment. I mean, there's exactly whatever is put in front of you, you just kind of do. Um, but it's out of that chaos that comes so much love and um, really just a sense of belonging for everyone that's there to take away any feelings of, you know, shame or disrespect that anyone, that any of the clients might feel when, when they go to get love. Um, I think that the interaction that um, that we have when 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 we're there um, is just all about you know treating the, like you know treating everyone like a human being. Um, I think that's the most important thing that they're they're no different. Um, and it's it's amazing to see um, just the change that's been going on since we've been since we've been working with you guys. Um, from the groups that we've been that we started there, uh, we you know for those of you that don't know, um, Alex does a conversation group there one day a week. They do art therapy one day. I do a twelve step group there. Um, I mean it's just and it's amazing. We have the, you know lots of people that come every single week and they get excited about them. You know to see them working their recovery and doing step work with me and coming back to the meetings and really you know feeling safe in the rooms to um, to be open to sharing with us some of what's happened in their life um, is really just so incredibly um, emotional and special and 
you're touching me. I mean, if anything, they're helping me more than I than I help them. Um, and, and where I try not to be selfish in any way, I mean, it really is just the most beautiful gift in the world. I mean, I, I don't think that there's. <laughs> I, I mean, the joke is when I, you know, in the meetings, they stick a box of Kleenex in front of me because, like, <laughs> I just go, like, oh my God, I'm glad I know. You know, it's like, it, it's really, you know, just changed my life on so many levels. And, um, you know, to see the smiles on their faces when you go in and they, um, yeah, and it just think all the work that, that you guys have been doing and what we've been able to bring in has just been incredibly, uh, you know, it's um, priceless. It's also been um, really amazing to watch how when you don't, when you're not of service, you're not serving someone different from you. It, it, it allows for that uh, that uh, divine intervention to happen because all of a sudden we are really. I'm not someone to be of service to you, and you're not someone that needs to be served. And we get to reinvent who we are at that time. And um, having this um, opportunity for us and to engage it on a very regular basis. Um, uh, is, a, is a real awakening because, uh, again, I think getting to know ourselves and others is a, is a real process. So for us, it's just been, um, it's been a, a beautiful moment. Um, and what about, uh, like, do you want to talk about Alderman Aldridge or anything like that? I think um, one of the last speakers, their topic is... Um, she answers. <laughs> One of the last speakers, the topic is it takes a village, and it, it's so true, and I think it's especially evident lately. Um, we've been, do, Get Love has been in existence for five years, and only, um, you know, in the past year or so, all of Eileen refers to it as silos um, in the past, but now everybody's coming together. And um, so now at the center we have 180 who not only comes with their clients to volunteer, but also has discussion groups and uh, Gina has an awesome um, AA and a meeting. And um, then we have uh, another girl who comes from a different background offering art, art class. And um, you know, we're talking to Golden Bridge about um, you know, bringing yoga and uh, meditation and you know it's all these different people with different backgrounds coming together and offering their their history and their past and bringing it all together in a totally totally organic way and it all works so beautifully